Hey YouTubers, this is Tony with Mayberry Mini Trucks. Today is Wednesday, March 13th, 2024. And it is an absolutely gorgeous day. Just, I mean, if you wanted to do a painting, there it is, right there. Or there. Or there. Or there. <laughs> Look at that. So today we're, I'm running out of light. Or there. Man. But that's the best painting of all. All right, here we go. Quit fooling around here. So this is a video for Trey in Virginia. And this is a, uh, a, 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 a Mitsubishi mini cab, uh, two wheel drive. 1993 Mitsubishi Mini Cab 4 speed with 13,321 miles. So, what we're going to do is we're going to check this thing out and look at it really carefully, and then we're going to have some fun and test drive it. Wow, these are looking good there. All right, let's check it out. So, going around the perimeter here, we want to look for rust or damage and everything's looking good this is a factory weep hole so that's not damage little little oxygenization right there that's the other factory weep hole now let me come across the, we got a scratch there but that's it the rest of the front of the truck is absolutely beautiful now we're gonna come down the door color. We've got a little impression right there. Looking really good with that impression right there. Tires look great. Now let's look underneath the inner fender. Looking good. Now. The bedside panel, guys, that is flawless. That is beautiful. Not a ding at all. Now I want to look under the bed, because that is probably more important than the top of the bed. But the top of the bed looks very, very nice. No rust issues at all. Just a clean, clean bed. This is a strap from Hogue at the port. That I found in the truck. I mean, it's it's nice for something. All right, and this tailgate, remarkably, I mean, guys, that's ding free. That's beautiful. Here we have almost a ding free. But it has a scratch right there that's been touched up. Oh, and a scratch there that's also been touched up. Mitsubishis are nice. I like Mitsubishis because you can see where they painted the bottom of the bed here. And they painted the frame, not to cover up any damage, but to preserve it. So you can see there's not any damage that they're covering up. Okay, the back of the cab actually looks really nice. A couple dings there where something came and, you know, dinged that. So coming down the door post. Wow. Wow. That's a good looking door. We do have a ding there, there, and there. Yep. And now let's look under here. At the inner fender, see what it looks like. It looks good, meaning no rust. That's our main concern. All right, now let's look underneath the door panel. Same thing for rust. None. Beautiful, beautiful. Under the floor mat looks nice. You can see where we just hosed it out. Ah! There we go. Uh, boy, is that seat pretty, guys. That is so nice. Behind the seat, your jack handle. 
That is your tool, tool kit. Little tool kit. Probably a screwdriver and a 10 and a 12 millimeter, maybe a 14 millimeter wrench. Very nice. And that tool kit will not say made in China. The Japanese are very proud of made in Japan. This is nice. That's nice. Like a little vent door. Alright. Now, all right, look under here. Looks good. You can see where we hosed this out today. Oh boy, this seat is so nice. Very pretty. No tears, no splits. The Mitsubishi seats are kind of nice. The headrest is integral to the seat itself. So now what we're going to do, headliner looks really good too. Now what we're going to do is take this for a ride. Super, super tight turn. All right. So the point of this test drive is to get it up to normal speed and see how it drives. The turn signal on a mini truck is over here. That would get you for the rest of your life. Because you get used to your Ford Ranger. And of course on the Ford, it's over here. And then you get in your Japanese mini truck, and you're like, oh. Learning to drive on the right-hand side is no big deal. But learning your turn signals, that's tough. So, so this is 50 miles an hour, and it feels great. No problem, cruising right along, no shaking, no pulling. So this little thing has great power. I'm going to slow down so we don't turn this into an aircraft because I do not have my pilot's license with me. Now we're going to make a U turn. Oh boy, boy, look at how nice this is. You see, they had the, the river flooded, and uh, but boy, did they make this pretty with that bulldozer. The river flooded and really washed out that field. All right, now, up in the hill we go. We're in fourth gear. And the Mitsubishi, I already know, has just incredible power because it's such low miles. There's a correlation between low miles and compression. So now, <laughs> we're already almost up to full speed. And this thing is going up a steep hill, guys, and we're just blazing up this hill. Now, we're going to turn, make a 90 degree turn to the right, and we're staying in fourth gear. We've got oncoming traffic. So now we're going 30 kilometers per hour. Oh, he has hay. They lost a bale of hay earlier. It was on the side of the road going down the hill. I don't know if you saw that. But guys, we were going 30 kilometers per hour, which is 19 miles per hour in fourth gear. And now look, we're going 50, 55 kilometers per hour. That is remarkable, 60 kilometers per hour. So that, guys, is a magnificent test drive. What power this truck has. So, um, so, um, Trey, if you would like to buy this truck, let us know if you see what you like. Um, this is a wonderful, um, Japanese mini truck. What's nice is, you know, there is a beauty in two wheel drive because if you live in uh, Alaska, okay, maybe four-wheel drive is necessary. But if you don't need four-wheel drive, I mean, why buy four-wheel drive? 
this is a zippy little ride, and it's clean as a pin. And, um, you know, a few dings here and dings there. But if you want to buy this, give us a call and let us know. We can be reached at 336-777-9957. Our email address is sales at makeverymanytrucks.com. And our website is makeverymanytrucks.com. Mayberry Mini Trucks got the law passed, making Mini Trucks street legal. This dog lives to chase cars. And um, he never gets too close, so. Um, and we got the law passed, so you get a title. We uh, don't charge anything extra for the title, so it's included in the price. And we use full synthetic engine oil to service this truck. We also replace the air filter and the oil filter. And we check all the fluids. Um, you know, but this thing just runs beautiful, and uh, so anything else we deliver, we charge two dollars and fifty cents per mile one way. So, if you're a hundred miles away, we charge two hundred and fifty dollars to bring it to you. Um, and we try to stay on top of our deliveries, we don't like we don't fall behind, so we're a week or two on our deliveries, and um. You know, if you're five weeks behind, you'll always be five weeks behind. If you're a week behind or two weeks behind, you'll always be a week or two weeks behind. So there's no point in permanently being five weeks behind or four weeks behind. So anyway, enough of that. Guys, I appreciate you watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.